Hello. Welcome back to Storytime with Nicola. Today I brought you to a special location to read my story to you. I'm up on Jackman Ridge behind my house. So, and in the distance, can you see the Skagit River below me and the Cascade Mountains with a little bit of snow on the top of them? I brought you here for a very special reason. I wanted to read you a story for Earth Day, which is on April 22nd. And the story I'm going to read is called Brother Eagle, Sister Sky. And this story um, is based on the speech by Chief Seattle of the Northwest Native people. He made this speech in the 1850s when the government in Washington DC wanted to buy the land that belonged to the people, the native people. And this is what he said in response to their offer to buy the land. Now the illustrations in this book are by Susan Jeffers. And if you'll remember, I read you a book called The Midnight Farm, and she did the illustrations for that too. And see, my dogs are here to join us for this particular reading. I hope you enjoy this story, and I hope you can see the illustrations because it's a beautiful book. So this is Chief Seattle's response to the American government. How can you buy the sky? Chief Seattle began. How can you own the rain and the wind? My mother told me every part of this earth is sacred to our people. Every pine needle, every sandy shore, every mist in the dark woods, every meadow and hummingbird, all are holy in the memory of our people. My father said to me, I know the sap that courses through the trees as I know the blood that flows in my veins. We are part of the earth and it is part of us. The perfumed flowers are our sisters. The bear, the deer, the great eagle, these are our brothers. Can you see the deer there? And the eagle? And there's the bear right here. The rocky crests, the meadows, the ponies, all belong to the same family. The voice of my ancestors said to me, the shining water that moves in the streams and rivers is not simply water, but the blood of your grandfather's grandfather. Each ghostly reflection in the clean waters of the lakes tells of memories in the life of our people. The water's murmur is the voice of your great, great grandmother. The rivers are our brothers. They quench our thirst. They carry our canoes and feed our children. You must give to the rivers the kindness that you would give to any brother. The voice of my grandfather said to me, the air is precious. It shares its spirit with all the life it supports. The wind that gave me my first breath also received my last sigh. You must keep the land and air apart and sacred as a place where one can go to taste the wind that is sweetened by the meadow flowers. When the last red man and woman have vanished with their wilderness, and their memory is only the shadow of a cloud moving across the sky. Across the prairie, will the shores and forest still be here? Will there be any of the spirit of my people left? My ancestors said to me, this we know. The earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. 
The voice of my grandmother said to me, teach your children what you have been taught. The earth is our mother. What befalls the earth befalls the sons and daughters of the earth. Do you know what befalls means? It means what happens to the earth. Hear my voice and the voice of my ancestors, Chief Seattle said. The destiny of your people is a mystery to us. What will happen when all the buffalo are slaughtered? The wild horses tamed? What will happen when the secret corners of the forest are heavy with the scent of many men? When the view of the ripe hills is blotted by talking wires, where will the thicket be? Gone. Where will the eagle be? Gone. And what will happen when we say goodbye to the swift pony and the hunt? It will be the end of living and the beginning of survival. This we know. All things are connected like the blood that unites us. We did not weave the web of life. We are merely a strand in it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. We love the earth as a newborn loves its mother's heartbeat. If we sell you our land, care for it as we have cared for it. Hold in your mind the memory of the land as it is when you receive it. Preserve the land and the air and the rivers for your children's children and love it as we have loved it. And that's what's important to think about on Earth Day and every day, in fact. If you take care of the Earth, the Earth will take care of you. Thank you for coming to Storytime with Nicola again. Bye-bye for now.